Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good yesterday, good tomorrow, good puzzling. Certainly today, hopefully, from David Astor, this is the so-called don't attempt uh, crossword, which I am going to heartily attempt this Friday. And uh, given the general difficulty of these outings, I am going to spare you the intro waffle and get straight into solving. So um, everything's good to go, and I'm going to start with one across, just make sure you can see everything properly, I think you can. Okay, so one across, St stress from tight match. I've got my hydration, uh, stress from tight match. Mm, see a few things that might be going on, but I don't know. Uh, one, one down. Finally resolved to place pot al fresco. Uh, to place pot al fresco. Interesting. Um, well, mm, al fresco basically means outdoor. I think, but I don't think I can see how that passes, so we'll move on. Uh, six across. Uh, contrary managers sacked snarky heiress, question mark, five letters long. Um, sacked snarky. Don't know. No, I don't think I do know. Nine across was first to replace metal hub in real strut. Uh, well, so that could be a W replacing a T. That is the first letter of was replacing the hub letter of metal in a word for real. And then the final answer being a strut. That's a pretty complicated way of doing it though. Um, in a synonym for real. A bobbin or something. Um, and if that is what's going on, it's pretty tricky. There's a lot of, a lot of work to do on that. Um, showgirl is somewhat dressed like a gymnast. <coughs> like a gymnast. Flexible showgirl. Um, somewhat dressed like. Mm, okay, eleven. Let's see if a short answer is easier. Island road shut after curbs eroded. <clears throat> this. Uh, is going to be, I think, Oahu. Uh, o Oahu. <laughs> I'd be sounding like a fool if that's not actually a thing, but road shut with the curbs or the outside letters off would give you Oahu. That could be an island. It sounds like some sort of, uh, it actually lines up with outdoor as well, uh, some sort of Hawaiian island perhaps. So I'll keep that for a second and just try two down. It's a long answer, but maybe it's a multi word. Well, two longish words. Explicit notice printed in Rush backing maker of dot 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 um, with an H in that position. In Rush backing. God, there's so many things going on there. I don't like that. I'm going to just continue and try to remember that Oahu, Oahu may not be right. Um, Reps fouled up, treated as deliberate. Uh, this looks like purposeful. So <clears throat> reps fouled up is an anagram, it's being treated, and deliberate is purposeful. So we've got our first solid solution, solid answer rather. Um, flower list, this looks like tulip. Um, in fact, I think it is, let's just see. List written around mid-July. So mid July is UL and to list is to tip in the sense of falling over. So that was an easy one. That P was very useful. 10 across, so there's some more of those. Uh, we did the gymnast one. 
Um, I thought of leotard. Um, dress like a gym. This, it's not really. A uh, leotard is something that. Mm, I won't. I won't hassle too much on that one just now. Um, well, let's try this with the U in it. Four down. Follow the checked letters. Finally, all our sugar supply given to Yak. <laughs> okay. Um, how should we? So it's got the U. Our uh, supply is supply, I think. So. Uh, so this will be. I'm trying to find the the um, the word O U S. We've got two U's, yeah. So it's like all uh, hmm. <laughs> So I think like an L is the final letter of all, and then our sugar O U R. G, A, and R. So this would have to be. Is, is that what I'm seeing? Lagerus? L A R G U R O U S. What is it? Is this Largus? Largus? Lagru? Lagruus? <laughs> it's something with. I think it's something like that. Um, I might just leave some of this out, but I think the OUS is going to be correct. Uh, I think, do I look at 14? No, cross-checked 6-3. Well, this is going to be out or off. Um, yes, this is ticked off. That's a nice clue. Um, is that doing the thing where it skips letters again? Yes, it is. I'm going to turn that off. Hang on. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't remember this setting mouse is lagging with the software as well. So ticked off is um, um, checked and if you're crossed you are ticked off. Uh, that's not outdoor. Uh, that or may not be correct uh, but we'll come back around in due time. Wow this one annual retreat screen 22 across. I think I have an idea how that might work but I don't know what 22 across this, so I'll come back. Uh, 17. Live or live by Fish Shed, an inner part of Sydney. Don't like these references to suburbs, if that's what's happening. Um, so live can be to be by Fish Shed. It could be fish without its outside letters. An inner part of Sydney. Well, if it... Hmm. Live can also mean like on air, but that's not going to work here, I don't think. If it was B, what's going to be a part of Sydney? Mm, no, not sure actually. I'm going to try 17 and see if I can if a B is helpful. My charge dropped by clumsy flapper. <laughs> okay. Um, Flapper is probably the definition. Um, so a bird of some sort, maybe, or a moth or a butterfly or something like this. Maybe wrong. That might, might not be the definition, though. Um, my may well be DAs or something like that. Uh, I was thinking of B, that was nice. So would a B work here? Clumsy, oh no, no, that's, that's not. Now we'll come back, let's not labour. Uh, 18, tidy tree full pruned. Something two, seven two. Uh, well, I feel like Spruce stuff is interesting because a spruce is a type of tree, and a dupe is a fool. So, it's a, 
Oh, sorry, yeah, dupe with an E is to fall. Um, so, yeah, it's just spruce and dupe for tidy, spruced up. So spruced up as a as an adjective, which is a bit unusual. Um, 19. Deposit concerning banks in foolhardy decay. Um, I think this is petrify. Um, banks in foolhardy are FY and can. Well, I thought I might have RE for concerning, but we don't. And maybe it's petri EFI. But then deposit would be pet. Not sure about that. Oh. I would say that's the spelling of petrify though. So how is petri deposit concerning banks? Uh, not sure. Let's try 22 across. Uh, fortune, I derive from pluckiest, oh well. That's an unusual clue if that's, so let's get rid of Petrify for a second. Instinctively, you see this, because you go fortune is luck, and pluckiest has the word luck in it. But that's a very unusual way of doing a hidden, I guess it, you'd say. You know, you're deriving luck from the word there, but what's brat got to do with anything? And how is that possibly a K? Ooh, interesting. I don't know about this. Um, I derive from... Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit more sophisticated than that. So luck and the, and the letter I are being derived from pluckiest to give pest, which is a brat. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. And seems to confirm petrify is probably correct. Uh, this I as well would be useful. This might be a... Tr oh, what's a 5-2? Oh, that seems unlikely. Maybe that is an E. Um, C price is arranged to gain a decent kicker. Right, um, so we've got 17 letters. C price is, is 10 letters to gain a decent kicker. Oh. Not even sure if that was an E, what you would get. Um, I'm certain petrify is not spelt with an E, but how can this possibly be an I word? might be some sort of Latin phrase. Don't know, let's, um, let's try this one actually, 15 down. Uh, sacking to fix ballistic striker. Um, firing something. Not sure what this actually is. It firing for for sacking. You would think, and a striker. Or or a ballistic striker. So fix can be like to set or something like that. But don't know about that. Um, I'll look at 27. Ugly lad informed in a dreamy way. Or well, the Y would make sense for in a dreamy way. Um, this looks like, yeah, it is. Languidly. So, ugly lad and the letter and the word in all combined. Um, so, informed is acting as a kind of Oh, no, I see. <laughs> this is one of DA's lift and separate. So ugly lad and this in here, then formed as an anagram indicator, and then in a dreamy way is languidly. Glad that I clocked that quickly, because that could have got tricky. Uh, country a front for undesirables. This looks like Peru. Um, it would be 
other countries, I guess, with a U on the end, but Yes, this is per. So the word, the letter A here is per. So if it's five dollars per kilo, it's five dollars a kilo, and then the front front desirable is the U, obviously. Uh, this is firing gun. Hmm. I'm not confident about that. I'll come back around. Twenty one. Uh, firing pin actually, and what was it? Fix. Yeah, to pin something down is to fix it, so very nice. Um, 21, palatial stir on the phone. Um, okay. I do not know. I guess palatial is going to be the definition because we've got an L for another similar adjective regal stir on the phone lager uh, I don't know it feels like it's gonna be something to do with call or bell or something um, I'll come back around as it is my tendency I think I looked over here before, didn't I? Yeah, as that B word. So let's try 20. Uh, on school vacation, I attend horror flick like a snake. Serpentine fits. Um, on school vacation, I attend horror flick. like a snake hmm. I think there's a T here for this word for regal or whatever it was um, palatial serpentine feels really good but I don't see the word play no let's let's start from first principles here on could just be on or re actually Re feels more likely. School vacation could be S and L, the school without its middle letters. Does that look like a word for like a snake? Maybe not. Uh, what about something like slithering? Yeah, because now I've got school vacation as S, L, I. And then the ring is the horror flick. Nice. Okay. Uh, so maybe this is regal or royal. Uh, that. Well, do I know why that's on the phone? Hmm. Did that have a question mark? That clue. Um, I should use my other one more often. I never always forget to look at the, the big one. Palatial stir on the phone. No question mark. Well, I'll come back to that. 24 should help with it. Um, it's the last help we're going to get. But the middle letter would be very powerful. And if it ends in a G, then there's only one possibility, I think. And this could be an ING word. Pardon, warmonger periodically sent to pen. Well, it's not obviously an ING word. Um, I'm looking for just every second letter of this, but I don't think it works. P R O W R O G, Prow Rock. Don't think so. A D N A M N E. I think it was adnamne or something, so I don't think that's it. Could just be um, the whole thing means pardon, so warmonger periodically would be W R O G R, that doesn't look right, or A M N E, amnesty. 
There we go. Um, oh, so this is royal. I'll come back and pass that at the end. Amnesty is a pardon, and warmonger periodically is A M N E, and a, a pen is a sty, like a pig pen. This is going very smoothly today. Uh, weekend dad perhaps exposed as up. Oh, sorry. Uh, just make sure that's not completely scuppered everything over here. Well, <laughs> I hope it hasn't been doing this the whole time because it definitely has scuppered it. I use a I use a magic mouse and occasionally I accidentally in oh, everything's gone all over the place. Oh, I hope it wasn't like this from the start. This has been a good solve. Um, occasionally I inadvertently do my shortcut tap for maximize um, maximize the window and then it does that and then it changes everything in OBS okay I think we're good um, that was a bit of a scare oh that's right I um, well give me a I'm gonna pause because I might this up okay I think we're back in business now um, 26 so weekend dad perhaps exposed as uppity sort um, I'm not sure I can see what to do there. No, so I'll come back to this 17, which I looked at. Uh, maybe I'll try another one I've not looked at. 13, chair missing a crest, lifted from elite, covering for legs. 10 letters. Probably covering for legs is the definition. Question mark suggests it's an unusual interpretation of that. Uh, so chair missing a crest. So chair missing A could be seat without the letter A in it. So set crest. Mm, I don't know synonyms for crest. Top, hill, something like that. Main lifted from elite covering for legs. So from elite. Missing a crest lifted from elite. Maybe that's what's happening. We need to take the word crest out of elite or synonym for both of those. And then this all means covering for legs. Hmm. No, I'm not sure. This is slightly. I would, I would think that it, it's probably plural if it's covering for legs. Uh, well, what about hose, hoses? Unless... This could be some sort of wacky hidden, couldn't it? Um, if it's lifted from something. But no, okay. Uh, I think I'll come back. Let's look at this one again. Oh no, hmm, I'm debating now where to go. Uh, well, let's try two down once since we're there. Uh, explicit notice. So the, that C is the final letter. Is that right? Of the first word? Yeah, it is. Printed in rush backing maker of. So this lady here looks like it's probably an I. A graphic. <clears throat> um, graphic. What? So explicit could be graphic, or this could be part of the definition, but assume explicit is graphic, then Notice could be add, and then make, no, it's got to be, explicit notice must be the definition, right? 
printed in Rush backing maker off. That's curious. Uh, let's try one across again. Stress from type match. match could be to suit the whole definition being stress stress could maybe be to nag don't know uh, one down one down Finally, resolve to place pot al fresco. Oh, oh, this was. Oh, I don't think I realised it was two words. I put outdoor before. Um, so this is obviously out. Uh, maybe finally is the definition. Or finally resolve, and then you're putting around the outside of something and that would require that though I think unless no no I don't think that's right what's going on um, sort out but the white no, finally doesn't really Oh, that's annoying. Hmm, nine. What's first to replace Metal Hub in... Re oh, this is a tough one, this. Um, to strut could be something like to saunter or to swagger. Wow, that's hard. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I got that. I mean, I had the right idea um, around the wordplay, but I'm a bit lucky. Was first is the W, and that's replacing the hub letter of metal, which is a T, in the word real, which is to stagger. So stagger becomes swagger, which is strut. Wow, that that's why I, I honestly don't know how. I'm lucky I thought of saunter. I think it got me in the right direction. Uh, three down. Corporate ID account for insider. Uh, this looks like logo, yes, so um, corporate ID is a logo, an account is a log, and for insider is the inside letter in for. Um, this R here, I think that is largurus, um, not familiar with that word. This word here looks frightening. <laughs> um, all I can think of is polyglot, and that's not it. Tight match. Um, oh no, is this? I think this is this, and this must be garrulous. I think is the letters that I needed to because light for match seems very likely. And then we just need a word for tight and the whole thing meaning stress. Um, which should, <laughs> should be obvious now. I mean, maybe light's not right. Garrulous seems a bit weird. I would have put money on lager as I think. Um, stress and tight. To tight, it can be frugal, it can be drunk. I should just be able to get a word for stress. To, to stress, the noun stress, the linguistic stress. 
like mega light or something, giga light. Uh, highlight, there we go. High is tight and highlight is distress. Now, um, <laughs> what is this? Hose out. Um, finally resolved to place pi al fresco. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it can be. Ah, oh, hash out. Ah, oh, pot is hash. Okay, and alfresco is just out. Right, okay. If I thought a bit harder, I might have realized that out was just alfresco. Top corner of the puzzle done. 30 minutes down and feeling good, feeling strong. Um, graphic has been confirmed, but as for the rest, I don't know. So let's meander up to the top of the grid again and see what we might have. Oh, I never looked at six actually. Oh, that was part of 25, oh, which is getting closer to knowing, closer to being, well, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, 25 and six, C price is arranged to gain a decent killer, a decent kicker rather. Um, So C price is arranged, could be at the beginning as an anagram. So we'd be looking at press. I oh, don't have two S. Oh, we do have two S's. Press. Ah, oh, maybe it's Petra with a Y. Oh, but there's not, there's not a Y in this anagram, sorry. Um, so P R E S S leaves I C I E. E, e that's not very nice press fills a decent kicker hmm I wonder actually about this seven down uh, because well I never looked at it and it's a good one two three three four three <laughs> Flip, dry, flip dive with a measure of caution. Two, three, three, four, and three. Um, uh, this feels like it should be something I can get. Wow, that that letter there. Oh, that could be an S. I know, so it's a three-letter word, so no, it's not an S, I don't think. Oh, sad. Could be sad. Measure of caution. Ah, oh, isn't it? Um. Oh, I thought it might be something like measure twice cut once or something like that, but apparently not. Uh, three, four, so this is a four letter word. Does flip dive toss Oh, sorry, two, uh, two, three. What's this word? Off. Be off. Ah, off the deep end. I'm sure I understand this. It may not be B. I'd go, probably. So it's got, well, yeah, go off the deep end. Mm, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm very confused with that, actually. I, I feel like I'm misunderstanding. I'll, I'm going to assume that most of it's right, 
but it doesn't quite make sense to me. I, do I know 22 now? Pest, annual retreats, screened pest. Um, that's probably an H, although that's tricky with this word. Uh, although, aphid is a pest. Uh, oh yeah, so annual is PA per annum and retreats. Uh, and that's retreating and then hid is screened and aphid is our answer. That's nice. Eight down, which I don't think I looked at. Must light be ticked off. Uh, so light is going to be LED and then hmm. needled. So must is need and to be needled is to be ticked off. This could be argon or ligon or something argon. What was it again? Contrary managers sacked snarky heiress. Well, it looks like maybe an anagram of managers without some letters. It may not be go though, actually, I'll be careful with that. I think it is, but now maybe it's that. Yeah, um, managers going backwards is sacking, as in it's containing, it's holding in a like in a sack. The letters R E G A N going backwards there. And a snarky heiress must be Regan, which I'm not a, not familiar with. Uh, now the six down, oh, that would attack to 25, gosh, um, is that a single word? Yeah, that's a, this is a single word here, oh, that's an E there, interesting, what is this word? May not have been firing pin I suppose, but I was pretty confident in that. Um, let's quickly look. That's 15 down. So sacking to fix. So to fix is to pin. I think that's quite likely. And firing pin is a thing. I'm fairly sure. So 25. C price is arranged to gain a decent kicker. It's not like an actual person, is it? Because that's going to be really annoying. What on earth letter is this? It can only be an L and R or an H, I think. Uh, could be another vowel, like an E. Oh, maybe it's peace. Yeah, that would make sense because it's, it's got the anagram letters. I don't know about this petrify though. <laughs> um, so P I E C and E leaves R E S I S. Ah. Could this have been putrefy? I think it would still have the same problem. Ah, but actually I think putrefy might be spelt with an E. Ah, yes, that because we had that thing about um, uh, 19. So deposit is put concerning is RE. That's what I was remembering. Putrefy, petrify <laughs> is what, well, I was actually thinking of the word in the meaning of putrefy, thinking that's what petrify meant, but of course that's not, that's completely wrong. So now, this makes more sense, but can we actually figure it out? Peace be with you. <laughs> um, well, the only vowel, it has to be B, right? Or peace me, or peace he. Uh, May not be peace. I was thinking it might be peace by, but the why there doesn't definitely doesn't work work now. 
strange. Uh, let's come back to something that might be solvable right now. 10 across. Showgirl is somewhat dressed. Like a gymnast. Ah, I know what this is. That's hilarious. This came up, this word, I haven't passed it yet, but I'm pretty sure this would be right. This was in Cracking the Cryptic did a cryptic, I think like last week or something. And uh, Simon solved a clue for Lissome off the bat and said, I recognize that's a really bizarre word, but I've seen it in crosswords before. That was my first exposure to it. And it means like lithe or um, silky or something like that. Um, and there it is. So uh, what's the passing? Oh, is this a, oh, it's a hidden, so, wow, so L-I-S-S-O-M-E, so this, this uh, expression is dressing that word, and to be like a gymnast is to be lissome, I think is pronounced, that's wild. The other one, while we're on DA, is garbanzo, which was one of my contenders for, for the golden waffle on Sunday, uh, I'd never seen that word until I solved it in last week's DA. And I was watching uh, John Stewart do a piece about Biden mispronouncing all sorts of foreign leaders and countries. And in his um, mockery, he imagined Biden mispronouncing Gaza as Garbanzo. So DA has got his finger on the pulse. And this was this ridiculous piece, something, I have no idea what this word is. Um, re it's got something to do with a, a kicker, was it? Uh, where are we? 25 across. I'm really invested on this one now. A decent kicker. Maybe I shouldn't get too misdirected by piece, but... And where about, what are the rest of these letters? Like, are there, is there anagram fodder for the A and the... Well, or for the A to gain... A decent. But we still do seem to have the letters of C price is all at the beginning. That are there. But I, oh, except for this thing here. I don't know where we're getting a letter for that. Um, then we'd need gain a and maybe decent. Ah, this is very annoying. I'm going to come back to that one. But is that, that might be a stumper. Uh, 17, that's right. I was going to come back here about 20 minutes ago. This could be my quickest DA if I'm... Um, if we manage to get over some of these, these humps. My charge dropped my, by clumsy flapper. Well, it could be DAS. Charge dropped by. Uh, my thinking here is a charge could be a tax. And if you drop a word for by, which would be X, like five by five is five X five. That's the kind of thing we'd see. But then we need a really short word for clumsy. I think what we need is a five letter word for charge that has an X in it. We take that out and the whole thing is a clumsy flapper. <laughs> um, which I guess is gonna be a fish. Um, not white fish. Uh, well, it could be a fish, I guess, but a bird. So, um, charge. I could be completely wrong by passing there. Let's try the set the D then, because that would be sensible. Live or live by fish shed, an inner part of Sydney. Well, maybe live or live is the definition or live by. 
and then inner part of Sydney could just be DN. So it might be something like the DN around the outside. I'm not quite sure what's indicating that. I don't know about this D, this is the problem. Um, well, another word for live would be exist. Mm, well, fish shed could be the IS, and then EXT. No, I don't see where that comes from. Hmm, okay, so we're down to the the stumpers. Chair missing a crest. I thought that was set. Lifted from elite covering for legs. Ah, um, yeah, it could, maybe it is hoses, and uh, but I don't think I can. I'm thinking of panty hose, but there are others, aren't there? Like, um, I think there's another key word I can't think of. But if it is this, then where are we getting the hoses? A crest lifted. From elite. Mm. Ah, this is a pickle. We're in the classic DA pickle. He likes to immerse us in such such briny cucumbers from time to time. Ah, now, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. I was going to say that was going to be helpful, but no. Yeah, weekend. That feels like a K. Dad, perhaps. Is that going to be like D A and D? So D A for for David Astor, and then a D, meaning five hundred or something, um, or D and then add. Uh, yeah, this is. So, but it's, no, I don't exactly think it's just dad. Some word for dad, maybe pop, pa, uppity sort. Park could be the end. Um, or is it this? Is there a word, kapapa? Someone who's really uppity is a kapapa. Unlikely to start with a K with this letter, with this word here. And um, obviously, I'm being a bit daft. An uppity sort. It may not even be that. Hmm. What about like a queen? You know, can that be just you're a, you're a drama queen, you're an uppity. I'm not sure if that's really right, but I don't think I can see wordplay for that either. Uh, and a Q at the end is ridiculous. So let's let's um, keep our thinking cap on in terms of plausible letters. <laughs> My charge dropped by clumsy flapper. I'm, s I'm certain that's what that is. Unless it is just my. What about mistake? Mistake could be a flapper, maybe. The charge is to take, maybe. <laughs> so when, why M-I-S? It may not be mistake, but it could be miss something. A 
I still need this charge. I still need the dropped word though, don't, don't I? So, um, stake might also be something to do with charge. Doesn't feel right. I don't think a flapper is a mistake anyway. First letter stands to be a D, but if it is an M, oh, the other one was a B, wasn't it? For B something. Uh, I need to know my Sydney. Let me replace. There's a five letter place in Sydney that is on the tip of my tongue. I don't think it starts with B though. Doesn't have to. Um, oh, Glebe. Yeah, that's it. And it's got the B in it. Surely that's right. So, live, B, by fish shed. Which, uh, angle? Oh! Angle without the AN, it's shedding. Ah, oh, dang, I've done it again. <laughs> Hold on. I think I might be able to fix it this time without the kerfuffle of last time. That looks good. Okay. Um, yeah, so angle without the AN, beautiful. And that gives me a different letter here altogether. That is great. So, flapper. Uh, a gas bag, um, gas lamp. What's my charge? Fair. If it's a bird, a gosling or something, or a, is there a something like that? Hmm. My. What's a word for clumsy? I think we're going to do that. We're going to get that word and take some stuff out to get a word for flapper. Or maybe, uh, maybe no, maybe we just put a word for clumsy at the end here. Hawk. Is there a gosh hawk? Clumsy could be. Oh, wow. Well, the, the hawk is correct. I don't know about the, the start, but. Um, I've totally forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> Awkward is clumsy, and a charge is a ward. So, awkward without its charge is awk. So, charge dropped by clumsy. So, then the first bit, ah, is gosh. It is gosh awk. So, gosh is my, like oh my, oh gosh. Awkward without ward, flapper. Brilliant. And it is a K at the start. That is cool. Um, wish I'd speculated on that more closely. So weekend is definitely that. And then dad perhaps exposed as uppity sort. Hmm, this is, I don't understand what this is. Dad perhaps. Or is it just dad exposed? No, it's got to be. Ah, uh, what about Karen? Um, I got that from the wordplay. So a Karen is an uppity sort, but um, a dad perhaps is a parent. A parent exposed is just the middle letters. This is amazing. This is a much smoother DA than I'm used to. Uh, explicit note is printed in Rush. Graphic. 
something that he may grow. Maker of is um, like an artisan or something, or a, I don't. I haven't actually done any of the wordplay with this actually. Should just be a write-in, shouldn't it? I mean, could this be that? Um, graphic beginner. <laughs> Uh, in rush. Uh, well, just quickly. Oh no. We've got wrap in there. Is that? Well, I mean, this letter presumably is an E. May not be. Seems unlikely to be another letter. Oh, maybe. So I'm just going through the alphabet now. So uh, B, C, uh, D, E, F, G, H, J, It's not coming to me, um, and we're only left with. Oh, we've got this one yet as well, actually. So thirteen. I may have cut a section of the video there because I spent twenty or thirty seconds staring at the screen. And, uh, but chair missing a crest. Uh, laden hosen is the word I was trying to think of. I'm going to say that's the spelling. Well, it pretty much has to be, doesn't it? Um, so, a chair is a lead, missing the A. Uh, now, crest lifted from elite. So, uh, well, Quite sure what is going on there. Uh, I have to leave that to the audience. I'll come back around in my post puzzle waffle, uh, perhaps. This is a very confusing clue. challenge of do I pause and come back later? Do I just give up and look them up? Uh, do I just continue and then cut out a lot, bunch of waiting time to keep the video a bit shorter? Seems if I'm not seeing this now. Uh, 
Maybe it's a C, right? It's not an S. Would these final letters be like this? Could be something like um, like this. It's a person's name, and this is therefore an unusual structure. Because it does look like we're looking for an anagram of C price is at the beginning. And we've got S E E P R, so I C I N S. So it could be an, an S there. Or otherwise, it, I think it has to be a C. Can't be an I. Ah, pièce de résistance. It is. Uh, I haven't actually fully passed it, but that is going to be right. That decent. <laughs> mm. Well, I mean. A decent kicker, pièce de résistance. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, maybe it, maybe there is a. Well, anyway, let's look at the wordplay because this D is confusing me actually. Because I, I had considered D, but there wasn't one in the clue. Uh, it's gaining a decent. Uh, so kicker is the definition. We've got C price is, which is ten letters plus the seven letters here, and we rearrange all of that. I think that's what's happening. Okay, so it really does come down to this guy. Explicit, notice. Uh, what about notice as, I still don't really know. I feel like explicit notice must be the definition, but what if it was not? and. Uh, but then what's make maker of as a definition? I feel like it has to be explicit or explicit notice. Graphic. Well, I mean, that is going to be an E or an O, something similar, and then if this is not an N, um, this claim is the word I'm thinking of, and that doesn't work. A U. So it's not a vowel. N is highly likely could be an oops could be an R could probably be other things but they I'm not gonna put all the letters in because it'll invalidate the puzzle but graphic beginner I don't think so
may even be one that I get no help from one lock on. Because I'm thinking of quitting at this point. Normally I wouldn't, I would just leave it and come back or I'd... Yeah, I would just leave it and come back later, but given I'm doing a video... I haven't really thought much about wordplay here. Um, maybe that's because I just... There seems to be too much ambiguity and I feel like I should be able to get it from the definition. Maker of. It's curious having that of at the end. Could just be a join a word. Well, maybe printed means graphic in terms of wordplay. Then in rush, backing. Ah, what about what? What about this? Maker of in the middle here. So graphic designer. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> That's correct, but what I failed to... Well, what I failed to follow through on, I had the idea, sometimes these dot 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 clues actually do need to take consideration of the next bit, but almost never. And so I just, it crossed my mind, I was like, no, I'm not going to go into that. But a graphic designer would be the maker of corporate ID account for Insider. I think that might be what's happening. So then if that's the case, explicit is graphic. Notice, so we've got designer left. Um, a notice is a sign and that's printed in rush, which is read, R-E-E-D, going backwards. That's where I got the R-E-E-D from. I realized rush going back could be dear. Ah, that is satisfying. I'm pleased that I stuck that out. I'm not gonna waffle actually. Um, I will, and I think Ohahu must be correct. I'm gonna, I think I might just check Ohahu. Ohahu, I think everything else I cannot pronounce that word. I think everything else I basically understood. There might have been a few passings, but I'm gonna, not extend the video. Ohahu is indeed uh, in Honolulu or the island where Honolulu is or yeah. Uh, lovely. Well thank you everyone for sticking with me. That was uh, a really cool solve. I'm um, pleased with my performance and how smooth it was on the whole. And that was so crazy, that Lissom word coming up as well. Uh, thank you again, and I will see you again tomorrow for the Saturday paper with Liam Runnels, if, if all goes to plan. Ciao, ciao.